everyone, it's Colonel Creeper, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to fight spiders. So spiders are not super complicated monsters to fight. As you can see, I am just wearing leather armor, I've got an iron sword, and a shield. So it's standard combat gear. Shields are slightly more difficult to make, but leather, like, mon spiders are also one of the most common monsters, so you shouldn't have that it shouldn't be that long until you find one in Minecraft. So, there's two types of spiders. There's normal spiders, which you will find in the overworld very commonly. There's cave, and then there's cave spiders, which you're more likely to find underground in abandoned mine shafts, caves, etc. Things you can get from spiders are spider eyes, which are extremely useful in making potions, and string are the main two things. String you can use for things like fishing rods, bows and arrows, like the bow I have here. So fit, spiders can give you s some very, very useful things, and they're not that hard to beat. So I'm just going to do a quick demo here. I'm going to fight a normal spider, as I would if I were actually playing the game. Right, forgot that. Spiders, as you can see right now, they're not hostile during the day. If you see a spider that is just kind of chilling during the day. See, it looks at me. It doesn't attack. It's only hostile if I attack it or if it spawns at night or in a cave. So basically anywhere where the light level is of seven or less. I don't really know how to measure the light level, but it's not super important. So I'm going to hit the spider right now. It will become hostile like that. Now it runs towards me. It jumps at me. I can block those attacks with my shield and then strike in between them. Well, they can give you some damage, they, most of the time, like, because my armor, see that, I got a few hits everywhere, but it's not, they're not major hitters, so if, you, as long as you don't let them, as long as you're well prepared, wear your armor all the time, then you should be good. Um, just a Minecraft life tip here, always, I like to always be wearing armor, so just whatever the strongest armor you have is, always be wearing it, because you never know what could happen. It's useful from everything from falls, to lava, to monster attacks. So that was a normal spider, those are the ones you're going to find in the overworld. Cave spiders, you're going to find more likely in caves. And, I don't think I've actually ever fought a cave spider before, so, but they're not that different from normal spiders, so, except for their color. See, they're also not hostile. And see, look, this is the difference in size. See, they're huge, like normal spiders. Huge compared to these little tiny dudes. So it's kind of like fighting a normal zombie versus a baby zombie. The size difference is pretty much the only thing you have to worry about. Um, so, spider, I'm just going to kill you. There we go. So, now for this little cave spider. They're a lot weaker, too. See, one hit from my sword took him out, whereas the normal spider, it was, I had to use two hits. So, this spider, I'm going to take out with a bow and arrow. So, I've got some arrows in here. Another tip, always have bows, always have arrows with you. They don't even have to be in your hotbar for them to be ready to use. So, this is how you know a bow is fully charged up when it starts to shake like that, and you can't really move very fast. So, spiders are not the best in an arrow is not advisable to take them out with because they're so fast that you'd have to be at a considerable distance at which point your aim's not the best. So if it, wep my weapon of choice for spiders is always a sword. So I'm just gonna try to shoot in. He's too far. Okay, come on buddy. A bit higher. There you go. Now he's coming at me. So if you're fighting with a bow, get as many hits in as you can before he makes it to you. But if you can get the right amount of hits in, he'll be, you'll have taken him out before he can even touch you. If you're far enough away. As you can see, like watch this. Oh, just need a bit. As you can see, there's a spider. If I shoot at him with my bow right now, oh wait, sorry. Here, I'm just gonna do a swap here. 
believe so. Okay. okay. Um, uh, no. Okay. So, if I just try to take them out from a short distance, I don't have enough time to reload enough. Like, I can't get the full charge. So, it wastes a lot more arrows than if you were just to have used your sword or if he had been farther away. If you don't have a good enough sword, or if you just simply don't really feel like, or if you just like shooting at things with a bow and arrow, it's fine if you do. It's not my preferred strategy. My pre I just, I'm rather, I prefer much just charging at them with a sword. Now watch with the cave spider, a lot weaker. Although the bow doesn't do as much damage as the sword. So you can see here, 1.6 attack, and the arrow, bone arrow is less. So I'm just going to sleep now, because since I'm in a super flat world, I don't really want to get eaten alive by all the thousands of monsters that are going to spawn. So, let's go, whatever, okay, I'll just for the monster that I made it. See, look, it's dark enough. Now it's hostile immediately. So that's when, if, if you see a spider at night, it's going to be hostile. And, however, during the day, if you see a spider during the day, it's not going to attack you. You have nothing to worry about. If you're not an experienced monster fighter, my advice is just don't go near it. That way you have no chance of getting hurt. So, this morning, I'm going to fight off a few spiders at once. It's... Same basic rule, like for all monsters, you just want to deal the same amount of damage to each of them. And this will be the end of my video, because I am pretty much out of time. Just a minute, sorry. Um, let it go. And... Okay, so... Okay, I'm just going to kill one of them and then bring them close together, because... So see, I got some spider eyes and rope from that guy. Okay, so I'm just going to make you a friend. And then we're going to hit both of them. So now they're both running at me. See, they jump. They like the jump. As you can see, I'm not... Another little bit of advice, back away from them, because they're so fast, you want to be far enough away, you just continue backing up, like, it really gives you an advantage. And then run in, attack, and back up, wait till it gets close, hit, 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 like that. So now I'm just going to do a little demo. If you have high ground versus a spider, you have a huge advantage. Whereas if you give it the high ground, it has a huge advantage because of its jumping. It, that gives it a humongous advantage because it jumps so high. So I'm just going to make a little pile here. Oops. Okay, sorry, this is... Okay. So... It can climb up at me, but... Sorry, um... I don't like you. Okay. Um... Sorry, there's a bad example. Um... I'm just gonna put Makes sense. Okay. It's gonna scurry like that, you see? Um. Okay.
So see, it can climb things. That's another thing about spiders. But as since I'm higher than it, it can't use its jump attacks on me. So if I hit it as long, if I hit it while it's on the ground and make sure to kill it, then I'm rather out of harm's way. But observe if I let it have the high ground. Sorry, bad example again. Um, So if I let it have the high ground, like I'm going to do right now, it will most likely kill me. Oh, damn. Um. Okay, that guy's suffocating. He's dead. Um. So watch this. Now it's got a, see it, with the running at momentum, okay. Now watch this. If I'm under it and hit it, that's a huge, no, no, you don't want to do that. Okay, oh okay. Anyway, point made, do not, just never, 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 never. Let a spider have the high ground above you because it will jump down, attack you, and it will hurt you. And you don't want that. So that's all for this video. And I hope you guys have a good day. Other than that, see you in the next video. Ciao.